Okay, Joe, it's fitting that you're wet today and soaked from the rain because for, what, 139 weeks without 139 fail? 139 weeks, 140 vigils. You were outside. We were outside on the street in front of the church. I came to the second or the third vigil and didn't leave. I became one with the people on the street. And um, many people had many gifts to give. There were people who did artwork. There were people who did prayer sheets. Uh, there were people who came forward to give testimonials and witness. There were people that went to city hall lobbying to save the churches. There were people who wrote to Rome, who wrote to the bishop, petitioned. And there were people who prayed and sang. And they taught us prayers. Uh, it, it, it was just amazing. And we, we were able to put a, even a benefit for a young man, a young boy, who has uh, cerebral palsy. We had a benefit for him. The 350 people came from St. Casimir in exile and our friends to gather enough money to send him to Poland for nine weeks of intensive therapy. So that's, that's really doing their Christian duty. You know, so as you see, I'm all wet here. But you know, for two months, we haven't had rain. Yeah. And as we came out, as the mass was ending, it started pouring. I look at that as a blessing. You His know, father said earlier that the, the phones for the holy water are empty. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, we're, I don't think he has to do the blessing because God himself sent the water down for us. But, you know, the, it was the people's faith that did this. You know, how does it feel? You were there every week and in all kinds of weather, rain, snow, cold, hot, and there's a small core group of you, sometimes larger and all. Now, what, 1,200, 1,300 people here today? Yes. How does that make you feel that your, your efforts over two and a half years, when it really looked impossible, came to this today? Well, a core group of us knew that if we stayed there on the street, especially after the church is dedicated to the Blessed Mother, especially after Dr. Klimyak had a dream that Our Lady of Chistahava says, do not leave me. We made a covenant with the Lord Jesus Christ and the Blessed Mother. We knew nothing could stop us. We knew Rome would have to act. It was just a matter of time. And if it took three years or ten years, we were not going to leave here. The people were not going to leave here. I'm able to tell the story of the people who don't want to come forward. Uh, it, 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 that's my gift, but uh, it, it's just unbelievable. Like Walter, the 90, then 96-year-old altar boy who came up on the altar today. He's either 98 or 99. He's five foot four, 120 pounds. He was an inmate of Bergen-Belsen concentration POW camp during the Second World War. He started the revolt when he disconnected the mic from the bishop, and then the women and the children got up. The women and children, if you remember when Jesus was crucified, it was the women who were there. They didn't run. The men ran. We, we received our strength from them. And uh, uh, my wife taught me so much, too. She was always there uh, by my side. And they, they pushed us. You can't beat the Polish women. <laughs> and, uh, and then we had women from the outside that came. They brought their husbands of other backgrounds. And they, they all came here. And they said, it's wrong what goes on. We marched in the St. Patrick's Day Parade to allow ovation. And we had a big banner that says, St. Catherine, Casimir salutes our Irish brothers and sisters. And we learned so much about each other. Strangers that stuck up for each other like the Good Samaritan. Never again will something like this happen because the people realize they have the faith. That's the rock. That's what did it. So you, Joe, and your core group really set a, a lesson not only for Cleveland as other church follows you, but for the nation and even the world. Yes, the core group. The, you know, the people on the street, uh, I, I was there to help because I doc documented things. But, and I would send it out to people. But the people that sometimes would just pray or bring banners, those are the real heroes because they taught us so much. They gave us information to relay. Uh, uh, they were the real heroes. Uh, a priest said, these people are the warriors of God. And today we saw about 1,200 people, estimate, there was a, a couple hundred outside going in and out. And it was a feeling of communion, like you won't believe among each other. Uh, the mass was bilingual, in Polish and in English, and uh, it, people said they wouldn't miss us for the world. They've been praying for us, not even with the same, the same background or anything. It, that's, that's just a beautiful, beautiful thing that's happened in Cleveland, Ohio. And you know, they say Cleveland, Ohio, you know, 
the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame where Cleveland rocks. <laughs> and the whole nation should take notice, every state, that we stopped what's going on here. And Rome took notice, and Rome has spoken to the American bishops. Stop chastening Catholics out of the pews. It's not pay to pray. Things can work out with the people. Well, congratulations and enjoy this great celebration today. Thank you.